Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we have one very very interesting and challenging algebraic equation. So let's get started by writing our denominator cannot be equal to 0. So let us find the restricted x value. I will write 5x minus 6 not equal to plus minus x minus 1. So I can frame two equations 5x minus 6 cannot be equal to x minus 1 and 5x minus 6 cannot be equal to minus x plus 1 or 1 minus x. So from here I will get 4x cannot be equal to 6 minus 1 so 5. So our answer cannot be equal to 5 over 4. This will make our denominator 0. From here I will write 6x cannot be equal to 7. So x cannot be equal to 7 over 6. So these two x values are restricted values. Now I will cross multiply. So I will write here 3 minus 2x whole power 4 minus 2x minus 2 whole power 4 equal to x minus 1 whole power 4 minus 5x minus 6 whole power 4. Now I will take 2 common from this bracket. So I can write 3 minus 2x whole power 4 minus 2 will come out as 2 power 4. So I will write 16 times x minus 1 whole power 4 will be equal to x minus 1 whole power 4 minus 5x minus 6 whole power 4. Now I will take this term to the RHS and this term we will write in LHS. So I can write 3 minus 2x whole power 4 plus 5x minus 6 whole power 4 will be equal to x minus 1 whole power 4 plus 16 times x minus 1 whole power 4. So I can write 3 minus 2x whole power 4 plus 5x minus 6 whole power 4. This will be equal to 17 times x minus 1 whole power 4. As per our equation, if I will plug in x equal to 1, it won't satisfy. So I can divide both sides by x minus 1 whole power 4. Let's divide x minus 1 whole power 4. Here x cannot be equal to 1. Now we can cancel these two terms from RHS. So we can write our equation 3 minus 2x whole power 4 plus 5x minus 6 whole power 4 over x minus 1 whole power 4 equal to 17. Now I will split denominator with respect to numerator and I can write our equation 3 minus 2x over x minus 1 whole power 4. Then we will write plus sign then we will write 5x minus 6 over x minus 1 whole power 4 equal to 17. Now I will use substitutions. Let's say this bracket is A and this bracket is B. So the very first equation which I can write A power 4 plus B power 4 equal to 17. Now we have to find out a plus b. So a plus b will be equal to 
common denominator is there x minus 1 now we will add 3 minus 2x with 5x minus 6 so i can write here 3 times 5x minus 2x is 3x so 3 is common minus 1 over x minus 1 these two term will be over we will write a plus b equal to 3 let's say this is equation 1 this is our equation number 2 now i will use binomial expansion let me write here a power 4 plus b power 4 equal to 17 a plus b equal to 3 now i can calculate the value of a square plus b square also so this will be equal to a plus b whole a square minus 2 times a b a plus b is 3 so i can write 3 square minus 2 a b or i can write the value of a square plus b square 9 minus 2 a b now we will use binomial expansion let's write a plus b whole power 4 formula so if i will write the expansion coefficient using pascal triangle method then i can write here 1 2 1 for power 2 1 3 3 1 for power 4 and for required power 4 i will write 1 4 6 4 1 this is for power 3 this is for power 2 and here we have coefficients for our expansion let me write here i will club these two coefficients all together these two all together so i can write here a power 4 plus b power 4 then we will write 4 times a b in the bracket we will write a square plus b square then we will write 6 times a square b square now we will apply all the values let's apply all the values a plus b is 3 a power 4 plus b power 4 is 17 and a square plus b square is 9 minus 2 ab so here i will be writing 3 power 4 will be equal to 17 plus 4 ab times 9 minus 2 ab plus 6a square b square now 3 power 4 is 81 81 minus 17 this is equal to 64 equal to 4ab in bracket 9 minus 2ab plus 6a square b square now equation is divisible by 2 so we can divide both sides by 2 64 over 2 and this side we will divide by 2 so i will get 32 equal to 2ab times 9 minus 2ab plus 3a square b square or i can write 32 equal to 18ab minus 4a square b square plus 3a square b square minus a square b square now i will take all the terms to lhs and we will get quadratic equation a square b square minus 18 ab plus 32 equal to 0 a square b square minus 18 ab plus 32 equal to 0 now i can see the factors of constant 32 as 2 times 16 and if i will add both i will get middle term coefficient 18 so i can split our middle term minus 18 ab as minus 2 ab minus 16 ab plus 32 equal to 0 now we will take ab common here from first two terms so ab minus 2 in the bracket and if i will take minus 16 common from these two terms 
I will get AB minus 2 in the bracket equal to 0. So we can write factors AB minus 2 times AB minus 16 equal to 0. Or we can use product 0 rule. We will write AB equal to 2 and AB equal to 16. Now our second equation was A plus B equal to 3. So from here I can write B will be equal to 3 minus A. So I can write A times 3 minus A equal to 2 equal to 16 or 3A minus A square equal to 2 equal to 16. So I can write two quadratic equations from here by taking all the terms to one side. We will get A square minus 3A plus 2 equal to 0. Our first quadratic equation and second will be a square minus 3a plus 16 equal to 0. Now I can see the factors of 2 as 2 times 1. So I can write direct factors a minus 1 times a minus 2 equal to 0. So from here I will get a equal to 1 and a equal to 2. Now we have to solve the second quadratic equation. Let me write here a square minus 3a plus 16 equal to 0. Minus 3a plus 16 equal to 0. I will use quadratic formula. I will write a equal to minus of minus 3 is plus 3 plus minus is square root of minus 3 square is 9 minus 4 times 1 times 16, so minus 64 over 2 times 1, so 2. This will be equal to 3 plus minus square root of negative 55 over 2 will be equal to 3 plus minus i times square root 55 over 2. Now I will write here all four values 1, 2, 3 plus minus i times square root 55 over 2. Now a was our substitution 3 minus 2x over x minus 1. So let me write here 3 minus 2x over x minus 1 equal to 1. Here we will be writing 3 minus 2x over x minus 1 equal to 2. First we will solve these two equations. So I can write 3 minus 2x equal to x minus 1. x cannot be 1. So I can write here 4 will be equal to 3x. So x will come out 4 over 3. Our first real solution. Now I will solve the second equation. Let's cross multiply 3 minus 2x will be equal to 2x minus 2 or I can write 5 equal to 4x. So x will come out 5 over 4 which is in our restricted list. So we will reject this solution. This will make our denominator 0. So rejected. Now we will consider our complex solution a equal to 3 plus minus i root 55 over 2. So I will write a equal to 3 minus 2x over x minus 1. And if I will write our a value, now we will find x equal to function of a. So I will cross multiply here. I will write ax minus a will be equal to 3 minus 2x. So I can write here a plus 2 times x will be equal to a plus 3. So x will be equal to a plus 3 over a plus 2. Here we have the value of a. So I will calculate from here 
a plus 3 and a plus 2. So let me write here a plus 3 will be equal to 3 plus minus i square root 55 over 2 plus 3 which will give us 9 6 plus 3 is 9 plus minus i square root 55 over 2 this is a plus 3 now i will write a plus 2 this will be equal to 3 plus minus i square root 55 over 2 plus 2 so 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3 is 7 7 plus minus i square root 55 over 2 now we have to divide both a plus 3 divided by a plus 2 so i will write here we will get denominator will be cancelled out so i will write 9 plus minus i square root 55 over 7 plus minus i square root 55. Now I will rationalize our denominator. So I need to multiply in the numerator and in the denominator. I will multiply 7 minus plus i square root 55. Here also 7 minus plus i times a square root 55. So we will write numerator as 63 9 times 7 and then complex term i root 55 times i root 55 will get plus 55. Then we will cross multiply we will get minus plus i times 2 root 55. And in the denominator, 7 square is 49. Let me write here 49 plus 55. 49 plus 55 will get 104. So I will write here 63 plus 55 will be equal to 118. Denominator will be 104 minus plus i times. 2 square root 55. Now we have to only divide numerator denominator by 2. We will get our final answer 59 half of 118 minus plus or plus minus i times square root 55 over 52. So we have one real solution and two complex solutions. Real solution was 4 over 3 only and here we have two complex solutions. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye.